Hello. Uh, thank you for coming. Sorry that you did now to squeeze on the other side. But in comparison with last year, Merle was here. I can tell you that I'm happy to see much more faces here. We are going to make a small presentation on what the chamber has done, just because Jelena has insisted very much. I know that it's not what you like the most, but I promise I will be quick. So, first, what is the Spanish chamber? Mainly, it's a chamber that is trying to develop the business between Spain and Estonia. I have been already been living here five years, and unfortunately, as you might know already, there are not many Spaniards here. We are around 50, 30 of them are missionaries, 15 of them are coming thanks to Estonian ladies. <laughs> uh, yeah, you love, but uh, you are good. Um, there are three working in the embassy, and then Nuri and me, we are the only one caring about the money. <laughs> so, we want to have more about the money, I mean, there are no green, Spanish greedy enough here, so we started with this, uh, we started last year, in 2009, and it has come pretty well so far. We, this year we have passed from 6 to 19 members, okay, if you think 19 is not very much, but if you say a growth of 300%, we say, wow, we're good. <laughs> uh, what we have done this year, well, plenty of things, so... When it comes to seminars, we have made one about labor outside Estonia. Nothing interesting for you, we want you to stay here and make business here. Personal branding, to sell, to sell yourself, that was very, very interesting. One about online marketing, together with the Danish Chamber, if I might remember. One about the currency exchange to Europe, I don't know how worried you are. And if you are working in a bank, I'm sorry about you. It seems that this Christmas are going to be kind of tough. Uh, yes, I know. Um, then, for the foreigners living here, one about tax planning. That, if I'm not wrong, we also did it with the Danish. No, no. Oops. It was only with Annika, with the Kings, with the Kings, <laughs> some Kings, yes. But we wanted to do it with the Danish. <laughs> yes. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. That about seminars. About the Spanish companies coming here, we had one about brass, another one about vacuum machinery, we have Admiral Marques to get into Spain. We make a conference with Europass and we help them with some promotion. One French company on the on something very interesting and very good that I don't remember. You can check it out on our page, it's Connex. And then we made a seminar in Madrid that they were your Secretary of State, it was some politicians from Spain. It was the president of the Madrid Chamber of Commerce, approximately a budget of 35 million euros, and then we made another one in Extremadura and two in the Basque Country. The ones in the Basque Country were the best. Two kilos in three days. Amazing. <laughs> when it comes to cooperation events, I want to thank Merlin. Yes, special appreciation. I mean, it has been really kind of the Danish to be to take care of the hard work and we just taking care of putting a logo. <laughs> so we can keep on cooperation like this this year. We make a soccer tournament with the several chambers and we won the trophy to the most fair, to the fairest team. I mean, the sorry? The sexiest as well, right? Yeah, but you don't have any trophy about that. About the fairest, it was a way to call us faggots, but it doesn't matter. Next year we will try to break some legs from the Swedish, not the Danish, and we'll see if we are fair or macho. Then we make an event with Andrew Sanship, together with the American Chamber, Swedish Chamber, Swedish Estonian, Swedish Estonian Chamber of Commerce, German Chamber of Commerce, okay. and Danish. I speed networking with the American Chamber. I don't know if the Danish you will know. <coughs> in 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 Trigon Capital. 
we made an investor summit together with the American Chamber, German Chamber, Swedish Chamber of Commerce, Swedish Estonian Chamber of Commerce, British Estonian Chamber of Commerce, and Danish Chamber of Commerce. And Nordic Open with Swedish Estonian Chamber of Commerce, Estonian <laughs> Swedish Chamber of Commerce, and Danish Estonian Chamber of Commerce. So I tell you, this is the best. You have more people and more f more fun and less work. We love it. <laughs> About researchers for Spanish companies, olive oil. I don't know if you can feel this year that there are much more olive oil in your supermarket. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> railway. Well, I don't guess that you check much about it, but there but is you something. Lost it. Yeah, it the, you lost the case with the railway, didn't you? No. <laughs> it was not what me. case? I haven't gotten anything about the railways. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Later. 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 No, there was a Spanish company, CAF, that wanted to gain a tender in Estonia. Mm -hmm. But did they win? The Swiss won it. Ah, oh, okay. Bastards. <laughs> well, not always Estonians make the right choice, you know. So, then wine distributors and another one about electric equipment. Uh, right now, there are two wind, wind farms coming here from Iberdrola and Gersa that they will be open in two, three years, approximately 80 megawatts from Spanish companies. Then, what everybody know more, after business uh, parties, it was DJ Byte, a famous DJ from Barcelona that we did it in Oscar, former Terrarium. Uh, then we made the birthday party in March. Then we had a soccer event with... Danish one at that time? No. No. So, a soccer event with a famous uh, football <coughs> player from Estonia, Zelensky, and Mr. Happel was the president of the Federation. Then we had a concert by one Trovador. <laughs> One guy that is crossing all Europe, just uh, singing in the living rooms, that they let him do it. And after listening to him, I understand why there are not so many. And then we made a Halloween party, but Mexican style. What it means? We don't have witches, we don't have Harry Potters, but we have plenty of rum, tequila and mezcal. That was fun. Uh, and then it was the store The we bought a car, 900 euros, 15,000 crowns, absolutely crap. And well, our idea was to visit all the Estonian villages in Novosibirsk and Crimi. Everything went well up to Crimi. I, w I was in Ranakula, in Novo Estonia, in Virgobot. Another one, I don't remember the name. <coughs> And when I went up to Oriol, in Oriol, every, all the oblasts, the equivalent to the Macon, the regions, were closed because of the fires, if you might remember these fires. So the situation is that I could not go east because it was closed. West, it was Belarus. I was coming from the south. Let's go north. I went up to Murmansk, from Murmansk to Norway, Norway, Finland, and it took approximately three weeks. Really, really fun with this car. I tell you, it was the funniest was to see the militia that usually stop cars. When I was arriving, they couldn't see just a kind of shoebox moving. And when they realized I was a foreigner, it was too late. It was like, see you. <laughs> <laughs> so it was the kind of invisible effect in the car. It was good because it had the block had more than three entries every day. Um, plenty of people in Spain now, they know about it and they have been much more cooperative with Narvalas de Codu. We will talk later about it. About the chamber, what we told you. We didn't win, but this was because we didn't bright enough. Um, we hope that next year we will do it, with the permission of the Danish chamber. I mean, Are you trying to bribe me? <laughs> <laughs> but I want to win. It was amazing. To the Danish, in the... Uh, uh, Friendly game, we got 6 to 1, we won. And when it came to the competition, it was 2 2. Ah, okay. Anyway, so the Spanish team. And then Dia de los Muertos. It was a <coughs> Mexican party. We are very helpful to, very thankful to Provalor. They sent us approximately 100 kilograms of products from Mexico, Art, uh, handcraft products and so on, decorations, more than 2,000 euros. 
I have to say now that there is no one from the American Chamber that it was very easy because they, I told them, look, Americans don't want to make Halloween with us. I said, ah, no way, I sent you some products. And he sent us approximately 100 kilos, amazing. So we, have, we drank eight bottles of rum, four bottles of mezcal, approximately five bottles of tequila, and we were around 50 people, so make the count, amazing. <laughs> We have to say thanks to also to Nick and to Maria because they were playing the roles of Baron Samedi and Madame Brigitte. It's equivalent to a Isames for the Estonian, the animators of the party. And it was, I think, really, really fun. And also to Fernando Llorente. If you know about soccer, he was one of the players in the World Cup. And he gave us a, a t-shirt signed by him for his friends in Estonia that we used to collect more money for the party. And thank you for all that they came here. As you can see, those who might know, Nick. Um, I don't know, that was the Alta. My, these guys were the best. I don't know if you saw it, but this is a shark. It was eating me half body. Uh, and it was really, really fun. We finished at like 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Those are from Musluik, you might know the shop. And when it comes to charity, oops, I have to say that I'm pretty happy because we have been able to get more than 100,000 crowns uh, in different stuff. The orphanage in Narva right now has almost 40 kids and the situation is pretty grimy. So, the Spaniards has been very, very helpful. I'm just coming from Narva, that's why I look so destroyed today. Um, this year we have given them a bed that can open from 3 to 10 years old. We have given them like 30 rollers, we have given them like 10 sledges, books in Estonian language, clothes, uh, one baby car, I don't know, uh, some toys. Uh, how you call this medicine that you give to little kids? Echinaxea. Echinaxea. Uh, so, system. Yeah, for the immune system. You should know, man, like you have to. You should give them that. Uh, we were expecting to give them holidays in Spain. There is one NGO, one of the most important in Spain, that was willing to take the kids one month in Spain paying everything. But the social ministerium, I don't understand why, are not being very cooperative. We'll see. This winter I'm going to talk with the ambassador, Estonian ambassador in Spain, and we will try to unblock the situation. And let's hope that next year we can take them in summer for one month in Spain. Um, well, different events that we are doing. Anneli? <laughs> Nuria? Boris and so on. The paella, we have to thank. Nuria, I'm afraid that one day she's going to leave architecture and is going to open a restaurant. She's really good making paellas. Mm -hmm. And for the next year, we want to organize a golf tournament, equivalent like a rider, Spain against Estonia, against Denmark, against Sweden. <coughs> we want to win the competition in soccer. We want to double the help to Narva Orphanage. To make a seminar on exports, uh, sorry, yeah, no, on exports, because we think that Estonia needs some help on it. There are plenty of instruments that they still don't know about factoring, forfeiting, about ensuring the operations, and so on. So, on that, we think that we can give some things. We want to make a new seminar together with other chambers, maybe some companies' traineeships. Uh, we are open to any idea. If you want to help us, you want to pro, uh, say something, we are open to it. Uh, before you came, a new board has been elected. I still control. I'm, the, I'm still a general secretary, but please, I feel, feel free to join the chamber and take over me. I'm with me more than happy. The new executive pre vice president will be Crystal Calda, the director of Enterprise Estonia for foreign investments. The other vice president, uh, legal director, would be Nigo Coyo Portugal, one of the attorneys of the kingdom in Spain. So, very high class lawyer. And the new pre vice president and director in Barcelona will be Antonio. Give him a big clap. Bravo. Bravo. 
We expect him to convince many guest companies from Barcelona to join the chamber. So, thank you, enjoy the party, and uh, please, I insist, next year I come to as many events as you wish, but I really hope to see you in all of them. Okay? <laughs> Thank you very much.